gaming matter, so just finished watching Raw. And I gotta say, this was a pretty decent show. I mean, there was a lot of things, obviously, that were said on certain wrestling videos that I saw. Which, yeah, I'll get to that in just a little minute. But, basically, Bobby Lashley came out to the ring. And you had Goldberg coming out. And very interesting how Goldberg acknowledged his age in a way. You know, it doesn't matter if I'm 35, 45, or 105. I'm still gonna kick your ass, and I'm Goldberg, and I live by the spear, and you'll die by the spear, watch. Okay. Anyways, he said I'm gonna challenge you at SummerSlam. And yeah, so it's official. Their match will be at SummerSlam, obviously. And that's gonna be pretty good. I can't wait to see that. Well, I'll get into that too a little bit later because of the certain things that I read recently. But also you had a good run-in by Ricochet after Damian Priest beat John Morrison and then they had a take team match. So that was pretty cool to watch as well. You had Piper Niven and Eva Murray attack. Alexa Bliss from behind when well, she was in her own whatever you want to call it now. And probably gonna be a match at SummerSlam, maybe. I don't know. So that was you know, that was good. That was really good. And you know, Gage Goldberg there. Obviously he's looking like a machine like his dad, so that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what happens. You know, Drew McIntyre was in the ring with his sword, Angela, which is a left from Chippy to his late mother. And I kind of had a sore spot, but uh, it hit me a little bit, you know. But anyways, he came out to the ring and he had attacked Fear and the other guy, Shanky. So I'm assuming that it's going to be Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam as well. It's definitely going to be Sheamus and Damian Priest, which I think is pretty cool. It's just the fact that they already had their match. And... You know, they could have waited to do that until SummerSlam. But whatever, you know, it is what it is. The main event was a no holds barred match. Charlotte Flair versus Nikki Cross. And this was for the championship, which to me was kind of pointless since it's going to be a triple threat at SummerSlam. So, this was a very cool match as well. I mean,. Nikki got put through a table, announced table, but there was a table that was set up near the turn buckle. And Charlotte basically just beat the shit out of her, so there's that. You had Nikki finally win with that. I don't even know what that move is called. And yeah, retained her title. So, I can't wait to see the triple threat match, to be honest with you, even though I'm not a fan of Charlotte Flair or anything, but also a 24-7 championship match. You had Reginald, or Reggie, as he's known now as, who defeated Akira Tozawa. Okay. I mean, you want to look at the 24-7 championship was 
in my opinion, a bad idea. And here's why. Because it was supposed to be the 24-7 oral, just like the hardcore title. You can't have a single match, you know, all through the night have wrestlers try to beat Redstone, you know, but it just kind of doesn't make sense. So why bother having the title? But this match was actually really good. I did really enjoy it. I mean, Akira kind of did a time-out thing and then called for ninjas because Oriental. But anyways, this was a good match. All around, this was a good show. But I was watching something recently and I didn't really hear anything, but you had fans hijack the show. Big surprise. Basically, in one match, you had CM Punk Chance, which I may or may not have heard. You had Charlotte talking in the ring, and people were chanting for Becky Lynch. Now, I'm a little biased myself, and I think that was pretty funny. But, anyways. You know, okay. and it really pisses me off too, and I've sort of talked about this a lot. Even in a Wheels of Fear video that we did many, many years ago, well, when we first started, and I still stand by it, when you buy a ticket to go to a wrestling event, or an MMA event, or any event, you fucking have to be respectful of the wrestlers because they're putting on a show for you. Yeah, you want to participate, you know, you want to do the weight thing, you want to do beach balls, whatever. But to actually, in unison, hijack a show. When, to me, it's a, a pretty good excitement or match. Especially a match that's going on. It's not about you motherfuckers. It's about the wrestlers in the ring putting on a show for you. If you don't want to see a match... Then get the fuck out. Yeah, you'll waste all your money, but... You earn it. Not only by... Ruining it for everyone else. But for the people at home. CM Punk... Was apparently... Chanted. Which I... Like... Didn't really hear too much. I don't think that's what they said, but they may have. Ronda Rousey posted something about ignorant fans and of course she's been in WWE for a year and so she knows I guess she's made a lot of rants about them and all of that shit, so whatever, it's fine. And you know, it really bothers me because you pay that much. Watch the show. And if you don't like it, don't fucking go. <laughs> don't come back to another show. It's not about you. Never has been. Never will be. If you want to cheer, cheer. If you want to boo, boo. And now back in the day, you had people throw shit. Not literal shit, but throw things at the ring when the heel was talking. That was back in the day. Now, was that disrespectful? Yeah. But, that was allowed. I personally wouldn't do it. Depending on what it was, I guess. It's kind of interesting to me how 
you think you're justified because you bought a ticket, so you think you can do whatever you want. No, you cannot. Not at all. And then, there's another Call to Hall of News that I was watching earlier today, and it just kind of proved my point, because I did speak about this with Kyle as well. And this was WWE might go back to the Thunderdome. There's a rumor that the Thunderdome might come back at SummerSlam. Now, the whole thing that this new Delta, whatever the fuck, is coming out, and there's more catchy. And when, you know, I watch fans at attendance, and WWE especially, it's basically, not everyone wears a mask. Wear a fucking mask, like seriously. That's not that hard. Now, I, I hope the rumor isn't true, because I really want to see these guys in Vegas. So we'll see how that goes. But that's all these entitled babies, as I still call them, they're ruining it for everyone else. But, Raw well, was a good show. I really did enjoy it. So we'll see what happens on SmackDown. And I'm looking forward to Wheels of Fury this week. We will talk about it. So, anyways, talk to you later. Bye. So, you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is That's why he you know, took pleasure in cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews, that he